Everyone aiming for more slay, let's spire. Let's see if we can't make some progress here. Well, we alternated between green and red last time. Let's do that again. Um, I think we ended with red. Sure, let's do both. I think we should get a little bit of both, unless it turns out to be a long run. Another round. Random common, transformation, remove two cards. I love the idea of removing cards. I just wish... Uh, we haven't done that before. We could try it. We, we commonly go for that. I do like Burning Blood. Random common relics can be great. Can be great. Chase all my cards. Okay. Usually it doesn't work out that well. So I think between random common relic or actually removing cards. We haven't done this one, I don't think. We don't get the option to do this one very often. For all I know, it's a new option. I don't remember seeing it. Um, you can remove like a two defense or defend strike. But I don't know where our deck's going. Because I don't know where the run's going to go. Because moving these defends... We go for like a defensive now because we get new things. Let's uh, sure, let's go for it. Let's remove a defend and a strike. There we go. Slightly smaller deck. You know what? Elite can't fire elite. <laughs> I've seen none of that. It's like an elite here. After yeah, we can do yeah. That's that's fine right there. And we get a shot maybe after some events, which could give us relics. <laughs> Reduces the amount of points we end up burning, of course. Which I'm okay with. Wife and I have... Oh, we're frail. I'll just hit him. Yeah, we're not taking that much damage. Wife and I rented... A Metal Gear Solid Survive, which we'll be checking out. Didn't really want to commit to purchasing the game, but we figured we might as well, you know, get a little bit of the experience. Body Slam's really, really good. Take Body Slam. Potentially really, really good. We can remove another card. Alright. We're getting like a tiny deck. But we don't have anything to go with the tininess of the deck. But, I mean, we can build towards something now. Ready for us to take any damage we don't want to take. I know, you're you're extra strong now, just just die. Add a card, bloodletting is very good. Gains us energy, what can I do with that? I'm sure it's fun things to do with that. Hello, do I just remove another card? We don't have any money. What do I spend money on? Membership, this is, this is, this is, oh, that sucks, because this is a relic I haven't had before. It's not, I don't even seen this one. I don't know, is it new? I don't remember there being new relics added. In the future, in future acts, shops appear more often and are discounted. Awesome, what a great card to get early on. Or a great relic to get early on. Obviously, we can't afford it. That can't afford anything other than card removal. Which I think we'll do just because we have like a... We have something... We have like a small deck thing going on. Very, very tight deck so far. Which I would like to maintain as much as we can. And Blood Leveling lets me do all of it. So we get... Block, block, attack, body slam for 15. He does zero damage to me, and we finish him off. Whenever you lose HP from a card, we have no self harm. Actually, yeah, bloodletting actually works out really well. Can I go for this elite? It's the Lagav again. Can I get my power? Thank you. And then I guess next turn we start punching him in the face. So we would bloodletting, gain strength, bash him, he's awake and angry. Do one damage to him? Yeah, look at that one damage. And now he's mad. Continue to bloodletting for more strength. And 18 damage is a decent hit. Gets me for 10, very painful. Um... Let's see for 20. I don't really want to take 20 damage. But we need to kill him before he weakens us too much. So I'll just eat 20 damage. Ouch. <laughs> Extremely painful. Uh, gain the energy. Gain the strength. Continue to bash him and beat on him a little bit. Blocks doesn't matter. Alright. Should be able to kill me, right? 16 damage, and then plus that damage he did. Hey, bonus strength! Immolation is... Gets us, let's just start exhausting cards. 
Huh. So I take Immolation. <laughs> now, we almost have... In fact, I want to go for a regular fight, because now we want cards. We want an option to get some cards, because we're close to having some sort of, like, infinite... Having an infinite uh, combo going. Because our deck's so small. We've got our deck so small. Wow, you're live with one HP, that's sad. We we'll just kill you. Or better yet, kill you. And then we would, I guess we just block some of your damage. And gain some strength. And now you're dead. Whenever you play an attack card, gain four blocks. That I'm looking for, that I'm looking for. Exhaust all non-attack cards, deal 16 damage. Exhaust non-attack cards. Okay. <laughs> I'm, we're potentially getting something really good. Potentially. We're getting close from the cusp of something amazing. We're not definitely not there yet, but we're on the, the cusp. Hey, an emulate's gonna be really good against these guys. As it commonly is. Shall take that little bit of damage. Simulate lets us exhaust these dazes. Oh, I messed that up. Oh, my bad. Wrong way around. Wrong way around. And exhaust defend for 17 damage. Or to just block. Well, you can do that. I think game that, that gives us... Alright, that's fine. I forgot we had bronze scales for a second. We can... Kill you. Weaken you. Gain some block. We're gonna be getting pretty hurt, though. It just feels... Serious? Wow. Alright. I'm gonna throw that, and then he'll die to thorns. I mean, that's part of having a small deck against the sentries. He's dealing with a lot of de Oh, of course, figures! Figures I get immolate in a hand that has zero dazes in it. Alright, that gives us some good healing. None of these are what we're looking for. Except gaining vulnerability, because the dropkick whatever is really... kind of what we're looking for. But I'll skip it. It's not good enough, I'll skip it. I don't think we have enough HP for this for this elite fight. Let's go see if there's another event here. Remove a card. Alright, let's continue to remove cards. You don't need this defend. Even though now we don't need body slam as much either. We also don't need strikes as much. Yeah, we don't have much damage. Take off the one defend. We leave. The healers fight and try not to die. It's one looter. Who could kill me super dead. Uh, do we have healing up here? Oh, oh no, oh no, we made a terrible mistake. Um, no, we have healing off the meat of the bone. And uh, so we get 18 HP. We need to kill this guy soon. So I'll drink that. Just to really help us kill him before he kills us. Because he's like really about to kill us. Hmm. That only does 11 damage. Oh, yeah, 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 here we go. We do that. We have the bloodletting. Body slam for Shmoff. Okay, it could have been durable. Um, Rampage isn't a terrible card because we have a tiny deck. So it's kind of a combo of just being a tiny deck. We can't fight that elite. There's absolutely no way. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think we need to do anything here. Just strike him, get that block on. Ouch. And then we would want to bash. Rampage, he's almost dead. Except now he's of course being doing that. Real rude man. 
hate the entanglement off that slaver. Ah, oh, it's so obnoxious. Uh, card draw's not bad. Gain energy with, via Berserk. It's a fine power. We want to hopefully not fight. Okay, we're fighting. We could... We have four energy. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, blood budding. We need to kill one of these guys. Let's go after the weakest one. And then we gain the block. Okay. Nine damage isn't quite enough. Exhaust deals 17. He only has seven. We can block some of that. We can rampage. Rampage isn't good enough. So you want to sever soul on... Oh, we defend first. Draw the defend so you don't burn it. And then if you're going to do 17... Yeah, do that one. That does more damage to you. He's not going to have trouble killing this guy. Oh my... Am I going to have trouble killing this guy? <laughs> Pardon? Four, five, six, seven. No, it's fine, because he's not doing anything this turn anyway. He's just webbing me, which is A-OK. -okay. Corruption skills cost zero. We get through all our skills real fast. Then what do I do? We don't have any, like, anything beyond that. That's not good enough. I do like arguments. Rest. Very crisp, crisp deck. Might not be good enough, though. Deals one damage, there you go, take that one damage. From the Avajra. The Fahara. Zerk. Bloodletting, I don't really need to immolate. Do I just bash? I suppose we take that to gain strength. And then hit him. Should've done that first course, we lost like one damage. Okay, we don't have much in the way of HP, like at all. So I want to cycle that, and then just go dig down to 4 HP. 7 HP, thank you, Regen Potion. Because of his thorns that I can't quite get past. I think, are we just, I think we're just dead, right? Like, we're just, we just don't have enough HP. He's going, to, he's going to kill us. Wow, that sucks. <laughs> Got thorns to death. Uh, that was a decent start, just not enough HP. Maybe we should have went for another rest or had less fighting. It was going towards... We could have... I mean, we're taking our chances. We we're getting a really small deck. If we had a combo, some more of a, a tighter combo, then we could have just popped off like crazy, but we did that That didn't quite happen. Uh, Move to our two current cards. We had that last time, and it gave us a small deck, which turned out being really good. Maybe not good enough. What's our map looking like? Elite campfire, elite campfire, elite campfire, elite campfire, elite. Another, ooh, elite. Ooh. Uh huh. Maybe go like that. Or that. Both elites are good. That gives me a shop after some fights. I think I go there. Upgraded cards, not good enough. Random potions are okay. Loose starting relic, random boss relic is fine. Ring of the snakes, not as. I don't like ring of the snakes as much as burning blood. But Ram Boss Rock is going to be good. Let's just remove Let's try this again. Although losing 50% of our HP, we've learned, is incredibly painful at this point in the game. We get frail or weakened. We get weakened. Just a couple tech cards. There we go. All right, any of these good enough? Acrobax is fine. Draw a card, discard a card. We don't really need any of that right now. Draw a card, discard a card. We don't have enough discard to make underhand strike that good. And every time we do this discard nonsense, it seems not that great. We can go for it with acrobatics. Acrobatics can help us get a lot of combos because it's out of card draw. Come on, are you serious? Wow, I just died to... I didn't even know you could die doing that. Let's just restart that. Wow. 
What are the chances to just miss all of those rolls? Hello! Time to receive your... Oh yeah, we didn't... We lost the blessing because we didn't get the first boss. Oh, that's fine. Sometimes the blessing doesn't mean anything, as you just saw. That was a good map, though. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't have been so eager to throw that one away. Um, left side, I think. I think we go up this left side. Kaka. Yeah, I'll just take six damage. To avoid taking more damage in the future, as much as we can. Do I get three strikes? One, two, three. Regen potion, science potion, eviscerate gives us a direction. That direction is discard, which I keep trying and it <laughs> doesn't work. Doesn't always work. Um, bullet time. Ah, I can't afford bullet time. We've had bullet time before and it's pretty good. So we're going for discards. Noxious fume is fine too. If we're going for just discards, though, it's not going to be good enough. If we're going for discards, Masterful Stab might be okay. A, that gives us an easy discard target if I can't use everything. B, it's okay, but it's not going to be useful right now. We're not going to be able to get rid of all our cards that quickly. But I want to remove a card right now. Uh, nah, let's leave. Because I'll save that at least that first removal. Oh, it's a second shot. Maybe this has some better deal for us. Not really. No. No, not really. Maybe now I want to choose discard a card. Or want to just, yeah, remove a card. Sure, I'll remove, I'll remove our first card. Let's give her a strike. Made out of slime goop. Gained a bunch of money for... Eh, our HP is good enough. Take it. And I'm looking for cards. So I should go for... And hit you. Um, should go for these. I've come to the conclusion we should go for these fights early on. To get cards, because the later fights are more difficult, where the events are always. Well, unless it's a fight, the events aren't, you know, necessarily. Don't necessarily scale in difficulty. Whereas if we're trying to get particular cards to have a not trash deck, and we need to fight to get a chance for to roll cards. Draw two more cards, there's a card discard, or shivs! That's a whole different thing that we haven't gone for. Because we want discards. But that discards your hand, but if 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 this rate's in our hand, then obviously that's not not actually good. Take the dagger throw just for discard. Just to try to push something out. And I'll heal because we're about to fight an elite. I don't want to die to the elite. Hello, elite. Oh, so with luck, Avalon. He's a jerk. Oh, and Eviscerate works now. It was broken, where it definitely didn't work. You're getting, like, double discounts, and that's why I think I mentioned that last time I had it. I was like, this seems weird. Why was it so cheap? Yeah, it just wasn't working. As intended, you got uh, massive discounts on it. Nope, let's just go hard on trying to kill him before he kills me. Oh, of course. Great. Beautiful hand at the time. Ugh. Sometimes you're just unlucky. Wow, we do not have enough discard. I think we're just dead now. 4, 8, 12. It's not quite enough. Should have drank the regen potion earlier. Alright. Ooh, stop. Oh. Oh, all right, we're dead. The Gavilin killed us. Man, that sucks. Really, really rough. Yeah, you're not gonna help me. We just have to strike you for not enough damage because we are weakened. Goodbye, the silent. All right. Rough, rough stars. The silent. Can we at least reach one of the bosses today? Ascension level five. There's up, goes up to ascension level ten. Game gets difficult. Choose, upgrade a card, ramp potions, remove two cards, lose all gold for- Oh, that's way better than losing half your HP. That's- is this the best one? This might be one of the best ones. 
Remove all I do, 100 gold to get rid of two cards? Yes, please. I'm gonna go for this Defensor Strikes. The reason why I like keeping the Strikes is for Perfected Strike and the Vampire event. Is why the Strikes have a little bit more value to me. So yeah, let's give her both Defense this time. Of course, the Defense with the block. Um, being the Ironclad, we have a lot of block. Block synergies. So I think we go up the middle. Yes. We can go for this early shop. We can't wait, there's no reason to go for the early shop and go around the shop. No problem, go around the shop. Go for some events and go around the early shop. That's both my blocks. Obviously we don't need the shop, we have zero money. Gold is currency within the spire. Almost, yeah, bash them instead of just killing them. Flex is good, metal size is also really good. I like metal size. Thanks for metal size. We haven't had uh, that for a while. Donut, banana, become cursed. We can get rid of the curse at a shop eventually, which is not here. Boop, 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 boop. Maybe not anywhere. Um, we only lose, we do lose a little bit of HP. Or we can just take more max HP. I normally just take a relic. Every three times you shuffle, gain extra energy. Really good with a small deck. Remove a card, change one more card, upgrade a card. Remove a card? How do you upgrade? Oh, we can just remove the regret immediately. Yeah, do that. Keeps the deck small, and that's like a, <laughs> obviously a real bad card to have. Being a curse and everything. And then that won't kill you. Close, but won't kill you. They should have blocked it. They have burning blood to make up a little bit of HP. What was that noise? A cat just made this weird. He's sleeping behind me. He just made a really weird sound. Oh, he's. Are you snoring? That is a very strange snoring sound. How about I move this out of the way? There you go, open up your airway a little bit. He's like, his head's buried in the blanket. Uh, the card's exhausted, don't have any exhaustion going on. Lose HP, deal damage, this is a decent amount of damage. And it can go with some other cards, of course. This card from discard on top of drop pile. But I'd be drawing, nothing that good. Our deck's kind of small, this is fattening up our deck for not really to that much benefit. But we need some early... I feel like I need some early game strength, so I'll take it. Like some early game, like, big hit, you know? Like 14 damage, that's a lot. Three damage reduction every turn is fine. Will I kill him? Oh no, we got our, our bonus energy this turn. Fire breathing is an okay power. Definitely just okay. Cleave's also an okay uh, attack, because they AoE. I'll take it. I don't like having all these cards in my deck. It's getting fat. Well, reducing some of his damage is nice. Probably should drink my strength potion. This guy's a real jerk. In fact, I will drink my strength potion. Hitting him for 24 is really good. And we'll just do it again. And then he's dead. All right, could have been way worse. If you're not playing any attacks, it's not good for us because we seem to have a lot of attacks. Exhaust non-attacks can block. Exhaust all non-attacks deal damage. Don't. So we are going pure attack then, <laughs> without much in the way of blocking. Exhaust them. Exhaust them. Gain block for each. Would almost rather just have the block. But then we still have this one skill card? All non-attack cards. We only have, like, two non-attack cards. So the best case scenario there is that I phase out two... I guess I can still... No, 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 no. We better take Severed Soul, because Severed Soul still deals damage after we uh, exhaust everything. But we don't need that. We don't need to worry about that. Probably just upgrade <laughs> Metal Size. It's a little less damage per turn after I play it. It's almost like our own little regen. Hiya! Rampage and Havoc. 
We have a small deck and we have bonus energy. I think I take Rampage. I like having Rampage around. It ends up doing, I feel like it ends up doing a lot of damage. I think I want to go here, go Elite, Campfire, Fight, Elite. Yeah. Gain Dexterity is fine. Although we're not doing much blocking, we're probably getting rid of our block cards. But, I'm still happy to have it around. So what, uh, try to kill you. Which obviously isn't happening, but we're close to this round. And the Talos, I'm taking, reducing so much damage on this fight. Feels really, really good. Him off. Whenever you had a skill, it's upgraded. And Pervious is a good skill, also exhausts itself. Alright, we'll take that. And then I don't want to go for another elite, we're kinda hurt. I think we just rest, heal, rest, maybe go for elite there and then rest. So rest. HP is super valuable at this point of ascension. Can I just kill him this round? I totally can. Five damage is like a lot to take against this guy, but he's dead. Flex is fine. We'll take flex. Does kind of reduce the amount we cycle with Sundial. 24 brings up to eight. max or you can upgrade. Oh, flex is skill, it's automatically upgraded. Uh, Rampage, the only one I'm thinking about. Maybe just heal. What if we upgrade? Yeah, 61. 61 is probably enough. How does the upgrade here? Oh, lose less HP, deal more damage. Hex, yes, let's upgrade Mio Kinesis. Oh, the, the Lagavulin. My favorite guy to fight. Oh, we'll just start hitting him. Just as hard as we can. Because he's a big old jerk. Rampage him. I think, yeah, we just gain enough to not take any damage. And then here we take damage. Uh, Metal size, sorry, you're not going to be, like, doing enough. And then this will take 15. Yeah, we don't have to take extra damage. Happy Flower! Rage, I'm going to play an attack game block. I don't like the fact that Rage costs money. Perfected Strike. We have lots of strikes. Rampage Cleave, we don't have that many strikes, we have three, four, five strikes. Other attacks that we've taken are not strikes. This is like deal 16 for two, we'll create a copy of a power card, we can copy Metal Size. Or Rampage, that's good enough, welcome to Team Dual Wield. I want to rest for health against the boss. Who is, of course, the Hex a Ghost. Two copies. Oh, and it's also skills, so I'm actually upgraded. So I suppose I just do that. I don't need to upgrade any of these. We should bash them. Also, we should possibly just drink some dexterity potions. At least one. Gain 43 block against this attack and get the metal size going. Alright, fully block that attack is wonderful. Start that cycling. Hit him hard at that. And we spend all the, all the energy. And a lot of dexterity, I do want to take advantage of it. Dual wield again, nothing I really want to be dual wielding. Make them vulnerable and slap them. We already spent our powers. I'd really be wanting to dual wield, yeah, Rampage or Hemokinesis. Do wield cleaves? Okay, it's a little bit extra damage. But again, probably not enough. For us to skip a 
skip an action to dual wield, it's, uh, it's asking a lot. Also, she did pop the regen potion at the beginning of this fight. Huh, really? Alright, we can get in block. It was like dual wield to strike, so I can strike him twice. Or would I have killed him? Would I have killed him if I just dual hit him with all the strikes? I might have just killed him if I hit him with all the strikes. So we're gonna be way more hurt than we want to be. Double tap is good, so is Demon Form, so is Barricade. Lock no longer expires go really well with Impervious and Metallicize. So despite the fact we don't have that many skills, I think we go Barricade. Gain energy, start with two wounds in your draw piles, and the worst, and we gaining energy is really, really good. Sure, mark a pain. Okay. And here we want, so again, elite, so can't fire, elite, can't fire, elite, can't fire, elite. Perfect, so we want to get there. I get there this way is a mixture of fights and events. Flex, towel size, and we knock down one of you guys. Also, almost kill you. Also, get that going. You care? I was kind of hoping for a one, two, three. Hmm. I just slay him. I hit for twelve. I don't want to get hit for twelve. I suppose I just throw up the block. Make him vulnerable. Really want to barricade with that <laughs> impervious, of course. Do wield the rampage. We want to knock you down for doing too much damage to me. Yeah, they still take 12. Ouch. Hey, Barricade, you're a little late, not gonna lie. Um, I suppose I'll take it, though, because I have nothing else going on this turn. Oh, what a weak turn. I guess we didn't take any damage, though, so that's still fine. He's gonna start flying again, I don't wanna do that. I don't want you to hit me. We can just kill you with that. Do I even need to use that? No. Use that Rampage. Strike, Rampage, and knock down. Another Rampage, or probably just Warcry, it's a free draw. But it does lose me a card. It's a skill card, skills automatically upgraded, and then if it, when it's upgraded, it's free draw. Now we're going this way. How does this work? So I gain 12 per turn? That's pretty good. That's the kind of thing I'm looking for. And then I ba barricade unnecessarily. Start rampage pumping. So when he doesn't attack me, he's not doing much damage at all. So he's not gonna be able to kill me, right? Like we're just we're just doing too much, not taking damage. Um, make him vulnerable. I guess just strike him with all these cards. Oh, he does one damage to me, Seth. Hey, <laughs> unnecessary. I just wanted to have all that block, gain energy and exhaust. I like having much extra energy. I'll take it. Oh, read. All right, what is this? We take a bunch of damage, of course, and we get the Necronomicon. First attack cost two or less. Is double plate. You don't need to block here, obviously. Knock you down a peg, and then just kill you. Actually, there, one shot the bird. Don't have to worry about him at all. Hex isn't good for us. I'd love to. Tal size the power to drink that. <laughs> Don't want to take too much damage here.
Don't, what are you gonna stop? Don't, 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 what are you gonna do to me to stop? Wait, does he daze me? I forget what his uh, debuff is. Well, it doesn't matter now, it's gone. Barricade's a little late for you. We can flex into a double bash, be great. If I put you back, do you come back in my hand? No, it doesn't, okay. So we flex into a double played bash from Necronomicon. Which then, that doesn't help me. So I gain a little bit of block. Take a tiny bit of damage. He needs to stop slapping me. Wow, really? Wow. Wow. How brutal is that? Double bash him again. Strike, someone's dead. Dude, the Chosen, can you just stop it? Oh, he just wrecked my deck so hard. I mean, gain some strength. I don't need to gain a lot of strength for not doing it. Our deck's already way too fat. We have some combos. Thing that's card draw. We don't need more bloodletting. All oh, it does go well with nothing that we have going on right here. Um, seeing red does exhaust itself. Gives me a lot of extra energy. So I'll take another seeing red. I'm not super happy about it. Remove a card. Upgrade all strikes and defense. We do have strikes that could use upgraded. Or we can just remove a card. What card do we remove? A strike? We do want our deck to be smaller. It needs to be smaller. Can't remove, I don't believe you can remove the Necronomicers. That's why it's saying there is no escape from this curse. So let's, uh, Elegant. And remove a strike. It's a basic strike. I think we need to sleep because I almost died. And then, ugh, ick. There's a shop here. We have a lot of money. This shop might be a good choice. We have to fight an elite. Or we go fight the elite anyway. But there's another shop behind it I don't really need. But if I go this way, there's only one elite fight. But if I go this way, I'll probably end up skipping this elite fight, but there's another campfire. Oh, let's go for it. Oh, no, it's these guys. Could really... Really feel like I need... Need to save Impervious for the combos. For once I have Juggernaut. Don't kill me. They're going to kill me. It's like I don't get a barricade. I have to use all my energy. Ugh, I should have bashed him in the first place. Okay, he's gonna kill me. We're super dead. Should have just avoided the elite fight. So many elite fights that would just kill us. Wish I had barricade on barricade. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> there's just no way. He's going to be for 14 times 3. The Gremlin Leader does such an absurd amount of damage. Yep, and we're done. Down to the Gremlin Leader once again. Oh. We need to have, like, that was a decent combo, but we cannot have it. We need a combo. Powerful combo is great, but it needs to be active, like, immediately. Like, we can't wait around for it to... We can't build up to it slowly. We need a combo that's immediately working for us. Let's go up the middle here. Lots of fights. We need more card draws. We need more options to get cards. Because what we need are cards. We need less, we need fewer cards, of course. But removal out of your deck is so expensive. Potentially so, of course, because that's how it's really powerful just to have exactly the cards you need every turn. Alright, it's gonna be a, a long it's gonna be a long video. That's fine, Slay Spires. It's 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 a beautiful game, I'm really enjoying it. I like the AoE. I'll take the AoE. Of course that's like our that's our indulgence in a, an attack card. I don't think we should really take anything beyond that. Attack wise, unless we're building up some sort of killer combo. Grr, I'm angry, Jawworm. I think zero damage against this guy would be pretty, be pretty happy. Makes me pretty happy, you can't tell. Poison? Let's go with some poison. 
And then I don't want to take damage here. If I block 10, I'll take 2. Which is fine. I'll take 2 damage. Next round, I should be able to kill them regardless. And I did. You look, the enemy's weak. Alright, we have weakened. We start removing cards, there we go. Yeah, we're just not damage taking. Let the poison start to build up. Alright. He'll be splitting soon. Should just I'll just make him split and hurt him as much as we can. Two enemies have 22 health each. Ugh. Ouch. Wow, well, you're not dead yet. Because why would you be? Uh, nine health, easy enough to kill. Bip, bip. Thank you, poison. Grab money. Bonus for skills. What are we going now? We're going for poison. Poison has a lot of skills. And also some heal hooking. Sure. Now we're really trying to steer towards skill upgrades. Skill cards. And poison. So here I think we just defend. So I don't take any damage for them. Of course they're attacking me again. It's 8 damage. Not enough to kill you. Now I'm vulnerable, so taking more damage, but we can reduce that with that defend. And now he's just going to upgrade his strength so I can take him out. Catalyst, double poison. We're going for a poison build. Might be way too dangerous to go elite fight. I'm doing it anyway. Oh, I should have just survived first and shot on attack card. Oh, uh, they all have 10 less HP because of Tulsa Potion. So that's going to be very nice. And this lets us do that into that. That's terrible. So almost killing him. <laughs> then taking a bunch of, bunch of raw damage. Ouch. Yeah, your sprays. Whoa, okay. So let's just defend twice. And eh, we should actually toss that and kill him. So I don't have to worry about taking that unnecessary those unnecessary dazes into my deck. You're just barely going to survive from the poison. Unfortunately, I'm now just one sentry, still chipping away my health. If you're not playing any attacks, we don't really have anything that going on. Discard all non attack cards or Bane. It is 14 damage versus just 12 damage. Discard. That can be so good though, the unload discards. I don't think our deck's all set up. Oh, if I had that early, this is the kind of card where we can just take on load. I'm like, okay, now I take a bunch of discard bonuses. Ugh. But we have skills, and we're doing poison. So I'll take the poison cards. Deck already feels really bad. 18 cards, and like half of them don't even. Only half of them go together. Hit him as hard as we can that first turn. Because he can definitely kill me. Damn, it's not going to be enough time to poison him. Alright, kill, kill, kill him, kill. All enemies are vulnerable. It's decent. Another Bane and our Dax Trader prepared. Don't really want any of these. We gotta go for the rest. First time lose HP, draw three cards. Again, this extra card draw is fine. Definitely heal. Feel like we're still gonna be dead. I feel like we're gonna bleed out anyway against these. Oh, hi friends against these guys. 
Because I burned out their... Uh, burned out their artifacts. Throughout Survivor, get rid of that defend. That gives us eight, so I take one damage, so I hit you for seven. End turn. That gives us a Centennial Puzzle trigger. Which does let me weaken one of them. You unload, eight damage, and I can actually just kill him. Avoid taking six damage altogether. D don't have the poison triggering, that's fine. The poison's a little slow. I'll admit. In fact, it might even be too slow for this point in the game, period. One skill. I suppose the shots doesn't really work if I'm not actually going for skills. Should consider drinking slip potion there. So our HP is incredibly important. Kill that one. Fully block his attack. Good. Three days is exactly what I was looking for. Um, he'll be dead next turn, almost certainly. Yeah, all I do is get one, at least one attack card. Or Calcum is solid. Another heal hook is fine if we get more weakens. We need to rest. Uh oh, we need to... Okay, we have to go around that elite for sure. Wraith form. Nah. Choose an attack. Like neutralize? Always in my hand? Eh. Remove cards? Hey, how about flechettes isn't working? You're a flechettes. And then we definitely avoid that fight and we go heal. Oh, we can get the happy flower. Happy, happy flower is good enough. Receive a golden idol. Trap. When you do that, outrun, become injured. Can't really afford the damage. Lose five max HP. Ugh, I don't want to lose five max HP. Also, want to become injured. Let's try the max HP. I haven't done that. Squish the boulder fight and see what little as it passes by. We haven't had that option before, so at least, at the very least, we got a new a new thing to read. Remove a card, because our dex is terrible. Wait, wait, what do we have with skills? I think we're going. Oh, yeah, flechettes. We have flechettes. I got rid of flechettes. Get rid of a regular. Let's get rid of a defend. And then we go take a nap to heal up. 39 as the silent against the goop. Slime boss, I don't think we're gonna make it. If it means weak, he's vulnerable, it's not the same thing. There we go. Get some cycle, get our power started. And then I think we just punch him twice. Because he needs to be. We need to be able to have him split. Which I don't think we can do enough damage to make him split. So we're gonna be in big trouble. He's charging though, just keep hitting him. You only need to do what, 12 damage? Oh, good, Bane. Yeah, he's got him. Woo! We, we might have a chance here. Double heal hook actually worked out. Uh, I think we just want a catalyst because it's not going to. They're going to keep splitting. So it's not actually going to be worth that much to us. So just getting rid of it's probably fine. Presumably fine. Oh yeah, thanks for uh, making me uh, frail. <laughs> or Calcum, save the day. Okay, yeah, we can bait. Oh, that's painful. Oh, we can weaken you. Just to reduce that damage. We can bane you. And just regular punch you. And that yeah, one that worked out really well. Are we actually doing fine in this fight? I think we're actually doing just fine in this fight. You take five damage, split into two guys that have eight HP, and that's nothing. Especially if we get we didn't get it. 
say, especially if we get a um, dagger spray. But now he's dead to poison or whatever. Yeah, all right, salt, salt, salt. Adrenaline's great. Storm of steel's okay. Tools of traits okay. I don't think everything to support storm of steel. It's all just adrenal. Adrenalize me. Three curses and three relics. Nah. If we had Duvu doll. Sure, calling help. We do not have Duvu doll. And three relics are great, but three curses are trash. Like real bad. We don't have enough exhaust. We don't even have cards to exhaust. You no longer discard cards. Ooh. It actually does work with enough wounds. Last time I took that, it didn't work at all. Or you just transform. Choose! And transform three cards and then upgrade them. That also might be decent in that it can give us something. This deck's kind of ugly and that can give us like a way out. Kind of. I'm thinking to draw one less card each turn and let's just keep the heel hooks until we want to drop the heel hooks with, with the weaken. So yeah, I'll take it. We proceed into the city. Where again, elites are both incredibly dangerous and kind of our objective. I'm not seeing a lot of cute places to get multiple elite combats. There's a shop way up here. Uh, I don't want to be forced into an elite fight that I don't, that I might not be able, that I feel, that I may feel like I can't take. There's an early shop followed by some events, preceded by some events. Sure, help us conserve our HP. hurt me. If I don't block, I'm going to take 6 because I'll work And I should do this damage now because it's the vulnerability provided by Bag Marbles. Well, I wish she was weakened. Are you in your neutralize? You're right there. Eh? Nope. It wasn't on top of the deck. Kind of took a gamble there. That would be. Then... Discard Catalyst, because you're not going to need that. But here, we can then neutralize the heel hook into heel hook into slapping him. Not defend. Oh, I moved my hand. I <laughs> misclicked the defend. Aim for 10 damage, and then hit him for 8. And then the poison doesn't quite finish him off. How obnoxious! Took 18 damage. Don't want any cards. We don't want cards. We can start moving cards. Once we get cards out of our deck, we'll have a combo. Receive a relic. I have money. What relic is it? Oh, he gave me a lantern. Alright, that's a random relic. Oh, the Jax guy. You guys are in the wrong order. Ugh, thieves. Burn that. Pain, painful. Can't you get my my? Okay, nope. Can't get it. There's just one card in here that'd be really, really awesome to get, and I can't seem to find it. There it is, a little late to the party, gotta say. Can I put it on him when I get these heel hooks pumping? Let's just kill you. I suppose Bane on you and almost kill you, but we're not actually gonna be able to kill you? Even with the extra flower energy? Even with the flower power? Because I don't have enough. Cards to do it! Ugh, this, this deck is too big. We finally got a combo. Man, you really need a combo early, because you're grasping for some sort of combos. You're grasping for combos early on. And we're gonna die. Why'd I go this way? We're super dead. This is a, this is a bad place to go. Yeah, we're probably gonna die here. At least we have the neutralize. If 
Alright, I can take one damage. I'm okay taking one damage. That procs the Centennial Puzzle. How do, do I, how do I not have heal? Are you, are you kidding me with these draws? There's our heal hooks. No block, and of course we don't have our power yet either. What is this? This is, this is not good. It's not working out well for us at all. Punch him twice. Seven fourteen, is gonna be for twenty-four. Block it as well as I can. Oh, it's gonna hit me real real hard. Like way too hard. Way harder than I can possibly block. It looks like that was our last stand. Ugh! If we had fewer cards with double heal hook and neutralize, I mean, just that alone can end up cycling our deck forever. We didn't give it early enough with a small enough deck, so another level 5 attempt down the drain. And I think there's still four more levels after this. Whoa! We have a lot of climbing to do. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, subscribe for more fun. I'll see you guys next time. Your scary compliment is, um, you see how nice and pretty this uh, script is? Um, that would be if you were a font, if you were physically, if your body was physically transformed to a font, you'd be a nice, beautiful, colorful font like this. I'll see you later.